In the last lecture, we learned how to make a component standalone. We also learned that the main reason standalone component was introduced is to get rid of the ng module from Angular application. But in the last lecture, when we migrated this detail component to a standalone component, we are still adding this detail component in the ng module. So here you can see in the import array, we are still adding that detail component. And we are even importing an ng module inside this detail component. The shared module, it is a module class which is decorated with ng module. So we are importing it inside this detail component in order to use the highlight directive from the shared module. Now, to get rid of this import of shared module in the detail component, what we will do is we will convert this highlight directive as a standalone directive. And to do that, again, all we have to do is this metadata object, which we are passing to this add directive decorator. There, we are going to use this standalone property and we are going to set it to true. By default, it is false. Now, we are setting it to true. And what this will do is it will make this highlight directive a standalone directive. Now, when we have converted this highlight directive to a standalone directive, it must not be declared within any ng module. Currently, we are declaring this highlight directive inside this shared module. But since now this highlight directive is a standalone directive, we must not declare it here. Okay, and since we are not declaring it here, we should also not export it from here. And we can remove this import statement as well. But now, when we are not exporting the highlight directive from this shared module, the detail component, again, it will not have access to highlight directive because we are importing shared module here, but the shared module no more exporting the highlight directive. So what we are going to do is, instead of importing shared module, we have learned that in a standalone component, we can import other standalone building blocks. For example, we can import another standalone component or directive or pipe, etc. So here, what we are going to do is we are going to import the highlight directive itself. Okay, and we don't need to import the shared module anymore. So we will also remove this import statement from here because now we are directly importing the highlight directive, which we want to use inside this standalone component, inside this detail component. So a very important point here to remember is that when you are working with standalone component or standalone directive, etc., you must import the dependencies there. For this standalone component, for this detail component, this highlight directive is its dependency because in this component, we are using this highlight directive. And since this highlight directive is also a standalone directive, we can simply import it here and then we can use it inside this component. With this, if we save the changes and if we go to our application, there everything should be working as expected. We should not have any errors. And let's also check the service. So when I click on this done button, it changes to start again. And when I click again, it changes to done. So the service is also working. The highlight directive is also working and the detail component is also displayed here. So everything is working as expected. And in this way, we have converted this highlight directive into a standalone directive. For that, we did two steps. In the first step, we use this standalone property and we set it to true. And in the second step, we removed this highlight directive from the declarations array of an ng module. Now, currently we are using this highlight directive into a standalone component inside this detail component. So we can simply import it here. But if we want to use this highlight directive into a component which is not standalone, then we might need to add it to the imports array. Maybe we can do it inside the shared module or we can also do it inside the imports array of app module but currently we are only using this highlight directive in this standalone component we are not using it anywhere else so we do not need to add it to any imports array in any ng module and with this we don't need this shared module file at all because from here now we are not declaring anything and we are not exporting anything as well 
so this code here is no more required so what we can do is we can simply go ahead and we can delete this shared module and with this we got rid of one ng module from our angular application now we are only left with this ng module and we will also get rid of this in our coming lectures and let's do one more thing let's also change this home component so let's go to home component.ts and let's also convert this home component into a standalone component again for that we need to use two steps in the first step we use standalone property and we set it to true okay and in the second step we just remove it from the declaration array of any ng module we are declaring this home component in app module here so we will simply remove this declaration and let's also remove this import statement but now we are using this home component inside app component right so if i open app component.html there we are using the selector of home component and since we have made this home component a standalone component this home component is now a standalone component angular does not know about this home component now because we have removed it from the declarations array so what we will do is for now again we will add it to imports array so that it will be imported for this ng module and it will be available for other components to use it so let's go ahead and let's add home component here all right now if we go to home component.ts actually let's go to home component.html there you will see that here we are using the detail component and we are not importing the detail component anymore or actually we are importing the detail component here so what we will do is since we are only using this detail component in the home component instead of importing it here and make it available for all the components we will remove it from here okay let's also remove this import statement from here and now let me save this file and let's go to home component.ts and there let's import the detail component so i will simply uncomment these two lines so now instead of importing this detail component in the ng module of this app module file since we only want to use this detail component inside this home component we are not using this detail component anywhere else and this detail component is also a standalone component and this home component is also a standalone component so we can import this detail component inside this home component using this import array and that's what we are doing here so we have removed that detail component from the import array of this ng module all right so let's save all these changes let's go to our application and you will see that we don't have any error let me also refresh the page here so you will see we don't have any error and our application is still working so you can see the directive is working the detail component is rendered here and this service is also working but now we have also converted our home component into a standalone component finally we are left with only one component this app component so we are also going to convert this app component to a standalone component but since this app component is a root component we need to do some extra configuration in order to convert this app component this root component to a standalone component and we will learn how to do that in our next lecture this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day